goes deeper back right there. Party. I'm just your Uber, bud. This is a, this isn't an like Uber. You're either it's taking us. No, you're you're either taking us back to your. So I'll be back. With a, I know with a little fuzzy microphone, dude. Oh, I don't know. My only issue with this man is. He f***ed my ex-girlfriend, f***ed my sister, lied to me about both of those situations when I knew they were true and found evidence on both sides, from both parties, and including friends. All I want is just be a man and be honest with me and tell me you did these things and not beat around the bush. You're being a b about it. He was in the wrong to sleep with his sister and his ex. But then again, Nick was also in the wrong for holding a grudge for two years. I'm out here in the middle of New Jersey and I'm super excited about it because today I'm taking a fan on a date. Now this isn't an ordinary fan. She's probably one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen in my life. And God knows why she agreed to go out on a date with me. What I'm doing today? A Fortnite challenge? No, I'm taking a pretty girl out on a date over there. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I want to bet? No. It's a miracle from God that a pretty girl like you would agree to go out on a date with Sully O'Dell because I'm known for some of my wild antics on camera. You know, fans are going to be hyped up. They want to see how I deal with women. They see the rest of my cast deal with women. But now they get to see me talk to a real girl. And I'm already blowing it. You're like, who is this kid? He's got a wife beater on. He's no, got some it's fluffy hair. Fit. It's a jersey That's what fit. I was going for. So I'll be back with and forth fuzzy, with you. With a fuzzy I know, with a little fuzzy microphone, dude. Oh, I don't know. But it is cool, you know, coming out here, meeting with a random stranger that I've never met before. All I've seen you online is, okay, we know she's pretty. We don't know her personality, though. Well, yeah. No, I, I, I knew a random stranger. I brought... Pepper spray, just in no, case. you did. You should have. You definitely should have brought pepper spray. Just in case. You never just in know. case. So here's the thing, Natalie. So I mean, my guy Bundy, back in the day, you know how he used to lure in girls. Oh yeah. He used to put on a cast. I would have been his type. No, apparently. you would have been, been his type. You know, I mean, Zac Efron played Ted Bundy in that movie. Anyone that who was, was a pretty too. boy. That was hot too. I mean, it made Ted Bundy look like a serial killer. The year's 2021, right? Yeah. So, all I have to do is get a cameraman. And say I'm a YouTuber, and then we attract pretty girls like you. For all those serial killers out there, just take notes. What did you say? That we bring pepper spray. But the pepper spray is not going to do anything. No, I pepper sprayed someone literally last week. What? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You pepper sprayed a 14-year-old? Yeah. Jesus, what was he doing? Did he try to touch you? Yeah. Really? He yelled at me. Wow. There's a lot of girls out there that, you know, want this opportunity. And oh, wow. you are the girl representing New Jersey right now. Don't blow it. Don't I, blow your shot. I miss New Jersey. My pea milk protein shake. Because she's a D1 she's athlete. A runner. She's a track star. You got stamina. Oh, yeah. All kinds of stamina. Yes. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay, next. Okay. Um, also, water. Water. And it's, it's plastic. That's so hypocritical of me. I actually never bring plastic water bottles. My fans are going to be very bored with you, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm passionate about the beach. Why do you love the beach so much? Because it's great, because you tan. You have to be more descriptive. You I don't go to know. Dartmouth. How hard is it? I need emphasis. I need passion behind your voice. If you want to make it in Hollywood, you told me you want to be a Southern cowgirl, you got to amp it up. You got to spruce it up. Give the people what they want, Natalie. Oh my God. Tell me about the crystals. I know you're oh passionate God, about crystals. Stressing me out. I know, look at her. She can't handle the pressure. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> she cannot <laughs> handle the pressure, people. This is the type of store where all the Visco girls come and shop, and then they don't even get 300 likes on Instagram. Like, can you believe it? I think this is the type of store where a lot of girls come in to try to find pretty clothes so they can get clout on Instagram, right? But I know you don't even get over 500 likes on Instagram, do you, darling? I do. No, you don't. <laughs> You're lying to me. That's a lie. That is a complete lie. It's like you guys are trading cards. Like, all you girls. Like, it's like, oh my god, I don't know how to handle it, but it's fine. All right, guys. I gotta take my girlfriend uh, shopping now. Come on, babe. Natalie's embarrassed. I know you've I never, exactly. you've never had to deal with that before, have you, Natalie? <laughs> Natalie's like, I don't want to be with that guy. Look up to my dad, low key. That's like your fun. dad. Yeah. Everyone, you know, looks up to their father because yeah. I guess they take care of us. Yeah. They lead us along the path that gets us to where we are today. Oh wow. So obviously, your dad was a hard worker. Mhm. Mm instilled confidence in you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, you're just reading me. How is you like? Something blue for your eyes. Hey, she knows. Ocean blue. Whee! That was the most <laughs> unsmooth spin you could ever have. I almost just broke your arm. You deal with a lot of bitches. Honestly, the best advice I can really give you is just to be yourself. That's what you say every time. Hey, so it helps me get the bitches. Okay. You just be yourself. It's true. Hey, Will. I just saw you posted your number on Instagram, and I just wanted to hit you up. <laughs> I heard you're coming to New York, so call me back. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, well, let's f***ing go. Yeah, yo, these b want you, man. <laughs> Straight. That's what I'm talking about. These b are hungry, man. They're thirsty for Will Nation. <laughs> but you got too many to count now. Yeah, that is true. Later, I want you to take me and Will in New Jersey for all the busted 40-year-old white chicks hang out with, like, the breast implants. Mm -hmm. We want those chicks. Oh, I got the perfect place to take like you Like the ones guys. that wear, like, three pounds of lipstick. Uh-huh. A I lot know. of eyeliner. Yep, I know. And they just stand outside the bars. Uh-huh. There's plenty of bars. I'll take you all around the several spots. <laughs> Yeah, right? Get all the learn. We'll get all the learn boys up here. Can we get here. everyone in this truck? Probably not. I mean, Whose truck is this? We could. Whose truck like, is this? Realistically, we could yeah, all probably fit in yeah, I, I want around. every person here yeah, in the god yeah. truck. I say we get every single person at this event in this truck. F*** it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's gotta, do it. But you gotta organize it. You gotta rally these people together. I wanna see the type of leader you are. He wants to oh. haul a massive load. Will, I You're wanna f***ing... Right? You and I will be in the bed of the truck. Okay, no. You and I will be in the I just want every person standing in the back of this truck. We gotta see. I want to see how great of a leader Will Nation is. Shoulder, shoulder. Get them riled up. Get them in here. Get Rile their attention. Your people, Will. Get their attention. Yo, 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 let's blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> will, get their attention. It's a rough crowd. Get your troops together. <laughs> Load up, boys. You ain't in the back of this truck. You ain't going. They don't care about you, Will. <laughs> but what are you gonna get do? the crowd. To get get the, crowd, the crowd, show the crowd. To interact, bro. You have to get the crowd to interact with you, Will. Eh. You have to be a leader. Yo, let me, you if you want to be a future, people, if bro. you, you have to be a man of the people. If you do the super part. No one gets in the back of the truck, they're going to get whacked inside the hell is this. And I'm a hard hitter. He's a hard hitter, baby. All right, motherfucker. All right, back. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> What? Calm down, Will. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yo, buzzing. Buzzing. Calm down, buzzing. Well, nation, baby. Hey, what do they say? Hi ho, the dairy. Oh, he's an heavy ass candy. We're pirates. You're a pirate, Will. I ain't no f pirate. You're a cowboy. Actually, that's the improper term. The proper term is country boy Con or redneck. Country boy yeah. or redneck. Okay. Sorry, I offended you. How about hillbilly? I want to talk to you. And it's his birthday. If you have red hair, yeah, you have a story. Man. You have Irish descent, aren't you? 110%. You're of Irish descent? Yep. Me too, brother. Irish and Italian all day. Yes, sir. Now, Irish, not Italian. one thing about all Irishmen is that they all have a backstory. There's not one of them. I mean, me, I got hundreds of family stories. What's yours? My family story. Come on, man. I know your dad was probably like, yeah, back in the old days, you used to rough those guys up. Tell me about your mother. Oh, my mother, my dearest mother. What a lady. Left way too early. 2007. But my dad, on the other hand, that's a story for another day. This motherfucker's got me hooked on every alcohol there is. Yo, got a long night, bro. Tell the story. Story? I ain't got time for a story. What's your story? My story? I don't know. Pothead. What? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't really? we all in this redneck community? Is this true, man? What's going on right now? I could agree to an extent. You can agree? To an extent. To an extent. It's legal now in New York, correct? And New Jersey, baby. New Jersey. So it's, it's legal. Yeah. You're allowed to do it. You, 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 you have freedom! <laughs> freedom to do whatever the f you want. Freedom. Hey, this, no. You want a wild This is hat? America. We can do whatever the f we want, when we want, whenever we want. That is true. Amen. That is very true. That's freedom. Amen. 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 Hey man! Biden. So you used to be a worker at Wawa, correct? One hundred percent. And I heard you had a little bit of a different type of story, you know, working at Wawa. It had to do with heroin. Tell me about it. Well, to keep the store anonymous and the manager anonymous, I will tell what went down. I was working an overnight at a Wawa last last year. And one in middle of the night, my manager would usually pass out while making sandwiches. How come? I don't know. I personally thought he was just dummy tired. It's overnight shift. You're not. You're not living the normal human life. You're the overnight shift is never easy. No, no, it is not. That you, you lose your social life. You are a slave. Was. I mean. Oh my God. Yeah, basically. A I'm sorry, life. brother. And one night, I go to take out the trash and I look through the fence and I see. 
a circling light in my manager's car. And I was like, what in the blue blazes is this man doing? And he was giving me a ride home after shift. So. Respectively. So, he pulled over before leaving the parking lot to go in and get another snack. I opened his center console, and I find, I find Coke, needles, spoons, The lights. manager at Wawa. Manager at Wawa doing overnights. He has passed out on multiple occasions during shift on the break room, in the office, even in front of the register. That's impressive. Though. He's honest? He's going to get fired. Oh, he's, he he's going to get fired. He got, you know, he's he been got, fired. He, he did got fired, but... It was for eating spoilers. So you're telling me that's the only way he to make it through the 9 to 5? He wasn't even fired for that. What was he fired for? Eating spoilage. What are we doing right now? We're sitting on top of a truck. For what? Where are we? How do we get here? Simple. We climbed to the top of the truck. I mean, where are we right now overall? We're in New Jersey right now. Yeah. New Jersey. Can't get no more redneck than this, You're man. more famous than anyone on the Jersey Shore. Damn it. As well am I. First of all, these Larn boys tell us they're taking us to a party. And I'm just sitting in the car enjoying myself and I get out and I see this shit. Like, where are you guys taking us? What the f is this? Oh God, fella. This is a pond. This is not. This is, this is a what? small pond. It goes deeper back there. Party. I'm just your Uber, bud. This, is a, this isn't I an Uber. You're either, you you're, either taking us, you're, in no. you're, you're either taking us back here to us or we go I don't know what else we're doing hey man, why are we I going go. this deep into the woods please tell me why so what the f are we gonna do I don't f know I'm saying I'm gonna try and bust a quick K turn in the woods and see if I can get the f back going that way okay we've been driving though for 20 minutes into the woods and this is where we still have to go 20 minutes back out of the woods we'll be fine we're gonna get how do you plan on backing up you want to watch the curve here is uh, about two foot deep uh, water so we're pretty much uh, at a dead end, dead end right here. So we can't go through that way. We won't In be able to get through terms, this. But listen, we're f***ed. We're f <laughs> But listen, you're a military expert. If this was your troop and these were your tanks, how are you going to get across that? we got to figure something out. Send it? That's easy. Number one answer. Usually you would send it, but there's no way you're going to be able to get through it's that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here in the back of a car because apparently at this little New Jersey party, there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. I'm sitting in the passenger seat, and this guy right here is chirping my ear out. And I'm like, the New Jersey drama? I kind of want to get into Fella, it. Fella, it's ridiculous if I can tell you that. The amount of f***ing drama that goes into this state between friends and Fred groups, it's f***. It's f***. It's f***, bro. People are, no, everybody's so selfish. Everybody's so f***. And unhappy for some reason. They just, I don't, bro, I don't know. But the drama is some kid, I'm not going to disclose his name for ethical reasons. All right. Because I, I just, I'm not like that. Okay. Uh, f my girlfriend a week after we broke up, f my sister, <laughs> lied to me about it when I knew. I had proof, knew. And I, all I wanted was just say it. Tell me man to man, talk to me. That he f your sister. Yeah. I wouldn't even be. That tight, like I really don't give a f in a sense, but bro, have the respect for me that I'm another human being. If you're gonna do some sh like that to me, let me know. Don't talk sh behind my back. That's I'd true. rather someone talk some sh in my face. That's true. But like, yo, I you banged your sister, bro. Yeah. And it, what does your sister have to say about it? Denies it too. But I know it's true because of <laughs> sister's friends that have told me about it and his friends that have told me about it. I have mutual people on both sides of the party that have told me about this. I was doing an exclusive interview. This kid, Nick, is in the car. He had a lot to say about you. He just wants to hear your side of the story. He thinks you're scared, Bobby. He thinks you don't want to speak, Bobby. This is your chance on the Sully Odell Show to clear the air about what's going on. dude. He's been f***ing about you like he does not like you. Yeah, what the f*** is the problem? The kid just all drama with him, I guess. It's I don't just know. all drama. He he just can't handle. Can't handle the pressure. Can't handle the shit. I don't know. He's. Are the accusations true? What are the accusations? The accusations are that you banged his sister, and you banged. <laughs> oh, f dude! God. Damn it. The accusations are shut up, on set.
The accusations are that you banged his sister and you banged his ex-girlfriend a week after they broke up. Are the accusations true? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> dude, do you not see that as disrespectful to this guy? Like, this is just a regular dude. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just wake up in the morning at Piss Excellence, and I, I, this kid just can't hang. I don't know. It's, it's the way of life. What is the connection between you two? Like, his sister and his ex-girlfriend? Like, why? Uh, one was for the clout, uh, and the other one... Because why not? I have the two gentlemen who are feuding right now over some issues they have. Now, this is New Jersey. This is the drama. Now, I got Nick. Nick, I want you to tell me what's been going on between you two. Fella, my only issue with this man is he f***ed my ex-girlfriend, f***ed my sister, lied to me about both of those situations when I knew they were true and found evidence on both sides from both parties and including friends, all I want is just be a man and be honest with me and tell me you did these things and not beat around the bush. You're being a b about it. All right, I don't want any issues with you. I'm not trying to fight. I don't want beef. I don't got time for that. Let me intervene. I just, I'm, no, I'm Let just, me intervene. this is the first time I've talked to you. All right. I know. But I know what you want to hear. I know what you want to say. I already had an exclusive interview with him. I had an exclusive interview with Bobby. That's you funny. know what he said? Hmm. He's got the things he wants to tell you. That's fine. Bobby. Okay. Things you have to say. Tell Nick what you told me. Just uh, the facts. I did sleep with both of them. I know. Um, I, when I slept with your ex, I wasn't in contact with you at all. So For I didn't. Reasons. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I heard that things were exchanged between you two. I know she probably lied about some stuff. That's where it came from. I don't have anything to lie to you about. I just told you right now. I don't I, care. Well, well, you didn't tell me anything because you haven't spoken to me yet. The whole time I've seen you and when I was back at Paul's yard. But the thing is, the reason why I know... I found out that you f***ed Taylor because of a guess. I guessed it because I felt it. Because everything I seem to f***ing guess seems to come true. And a lot of it seems to revolve around you. Sad to say. Not to, like, rain on your parade. But, like, fella, we're not meant to be near each other and it just ain't it and that's just how the way is and that's just how the work the world is for us it just can't work i just don't get stay out of my life stay in yours i don't talk about you i don't do anything to f you I don't talk listen you. listen 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 but, no, 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 no. the conclusion okay. i have is you just don't like this guy i don't you don't but like him knows. you don't like anything about him you don't I like know. the way he looks you don't like how tall he is he no, acts like I'm a jock of those long legs I wish, bro. Why? Why do you not like another human being? I, I'm just not with the disrespect that I've gotten from this man and the fact that he could not be res not responsible, but like an adult. An adult. So I knew let me ask him. Let me ask him. Out on both of these things. Not, the, not, not, not that really the Taylor one, but especially the whole sister thing. I called you out on that multiple times. You lied to me every single time about it. You and Skylar. What did he I say? What was his excuse? I didn't do it. I was... I was in the bathroom. But be a man and come talk to me and tell me that you did it and just be honest. But you me. don't like him and he doesn't like you. So exactly. how are you guys going to meet up with well, each other? Well, the thing other? is, the fact is that I've known him since middle school and yeah. me and him were boys. And yeah. me and him were boys when I got switched into the high school that he was in. Yeah. And we were close. You were boys. We were we were close. But we after were... he banged your sister, it was f***ing over. Not it. And homie wouldn't admit it to me. And it just, I just, I can't be friends with someone who can't come to terms with what they did. I cheated on my girlfriend and told people about it. Because I'm you know, a f***ing real person. How do we get over this, though? How do we resolve I the situation? Want, I don't even want an apology. Listen, you guys all used I to be... Want, time out, stop. All I you want, guys used to be boys. I know. You used to be boys. So why can't you still be boys? All I'm right? not with it. I'm just not with it. I can't. He's quite doing long, it. It's quite a long time to hold a grudge, though. It is. It's and quite I'm, a long I, time. Usually, I'm, I'm, I say I we break the curtain. Right. We bury the hatchet. I'm not, I'm not one to hold a grudge, usually. You're holding a grudge against this guy. Because this man keeps reoccurring in my life is an issue. And Let's I bury never, the I, hatchet right now. I'm, I'm Sully Odell show. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, I'm fine to bury the hatchet. hatchet. I haven't talked to him in a, in months. I don't talk to him. I don't do anything. How do we bury the hatchet, though? We have to resolve this. Bro, I'm good. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing to bury. I know you've been listening in to what's been going on. Who do you think is in the right? Now, this man slept with this man's sister. And this man slept with this man's ex a week 
after. He it's broke up with her. Now, a dog's gonna be a dog, though. In the Sully Hello. at El Kingdom, animals have to roam and have to do well, what they have to do. I, but, uh, I hate to say this. Will Nation is gonna give us his insight. Okay, all the fans back home are gonna be able to decide who is in the right. Because I don't know. They're two great guys. This guy's f***ing hilarious. He's got an interesting accent. This guy's a f***ing firefighter. But he could also be a TikToker because he looks like one of those pretty boys a little bit. It's not a perm, but it kind of is a perm at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And you got the tattoo. Like, get out of here. Give me your insight. Yes, yeah, so, yes, he's a firefighter. But, yes, he was in the wrong to sleep with his sister and his ex. But then again, Nick was also in the wrong for holding a grudge for two years. And that's fair enough. And I can't, two years? I can't argue with but, that. In I my honest opinion, argue. I hate to say this, but one of them must be cut off. I don't know which one it's going to be. Should we let the fans back home decide or... Yeah. Or should we just vote it out? Uh, who's who's going to be in charge of voting now? Is it Sideburn's house? How about doing side? The fans. You want to leave it up to the fans. You want to leave it up to the fans back home. You want to leave it up to the fans back home. personal victory for me, I'm taking with me. So who's in the right? All right? We have to make this official, ladies and gentlemen. We have to make this official. But one of them must be cut. One of them must be cut. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I need quiet on the set. Any quiet on the set right now? Any quiet on the set? <laughs> Nick, quiet on the set. Yeah, so I hate, I hate to say it, but one of them must be cut from the crew. We have come to the conclusion that one of cool. our cast members must go. Either Nick cool. or Bobby. The These... First time and the last time. <laughs> We're going to leave it up to you. This is contestant number one, Nick. The man who is potentially the victim here or contestant number two. Bobby, the dog, the man, Roman the prayers, the slayer. It's up to you. And we'll leave it at that, Will. Let me get closing messages from you. Honestly, if you vote wisely, it's just basically within 24 hours, the uh, basic voting is going to be closed in 24 af hours after the video gets posted. So there'll be no more votes afterwards. Back to you, Houston. Do you have any expectations for the Big Apple, Will? I don't know. Look at this. We got Adam Sandler, Will's hero, Hillary Clinton. No. I even heard Barack Obama came in here. Wow, that's true. Ma'am, can you please tell me who decides who the celebrities are that get on the wall here? I want to talk to that guy. I believe I have a valid resume. He's not here today? Can you? Can I leave a message with you? My name is Sully Odell. I want you to leave a message with him. Just tell him that you know I'm interested in being on this wall of fame. I am. I think I got what it takes. What do you think? I'm courageous. I got the energy. I'm going to bring it. You keep making great pizzas. I'll keep making great videos, okay? Sounds good. Don't worry. You're going to see me up on this wall one of these days. It's my goal. It's my goal.